Chief Minister Nongkomban Birin suspends issuance of ILP to outsiders entering Manipur amid COVID-19 threat. And India reports third coronavirus casualty from highest infected state Maharashtra. Positive cases of COVID-19 in India climbs 129. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Afternoon News. I'm Ibeto. I talk to you with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nongtoman Biren has suspended the issuance of ILP to outsiders entering the state amid COVID-19 threat. Speaking on the sidelines of an inspection visit at the old airfield in Koirangi today, Chief Minister N. Biren said public apprehension of a transmission of COVID-19 is on the high. Stating that there is not a single confirmed case of coronavirus in Manipur yet, he said the decision to ban the sequence of ILP was taken to prevent any risks of contracting coronavirus. He said ILP counters have been instructed to stop issuing ILP with immediate effect from today. Speaking about the inspection, Chief Minister N. B. Rain said efforts are underway by the state government to relocate the existing army camps in the old airfield to other convenient locations in the near future. Seeing the prevailing situation of coronavirus, the state government will issue today cancelling the ILPs, uh, issuing of ILP pass from today onward from, from the outside, Manipur Babans, Guadis, Delhi, wherever, uh, we are going to prohibit it. Seeing the prevailing situation of... Imphal West District BJP Manipur Pradesh raised awareness on coronavirus COVID-19 today. Four paid COVID-19 awareness pamphlets were released at the program was held at MLA Dr. Sapam Ranjan's quarter in Lumfair. Now we are packing up by MLA Swivam Suvash Chandra, Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Moirangthe Masni Kumar, President of Imphal West District BJP Manipur Pradesh, PH Foni, Lamshang, Sekmai Wangoi, Nauria Pakanglakpa, and Kontausam BJP Mandal Presidents and Party Members took part in the event. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Swebam Savachandra appealed to people to come out for testing if they suspect of being infected with coronavirus. MLA Subhashchandra said his taste came out negative. Speaking to media, Party Vice President M. Asni Kumar said the mass awareness program was held under a strict instruction of BJP National Office. He also mentioned that 50,000 coronavirus awareness pamphlets have been printed to be distributed among the people of Imphal West. Prescribed Manipur Naga People's Front MNPF in a press release has strongly condemned yesterday's crisis at Chasad village in Kamjong district. The prescribed outfit has assured of extending necessary assistance to the aggrieved villagers. MNPF has urged all the communities of the state to forget all past animosity and live together in peace and harmony. All Juriba Muslim Socio-Economic and Cultural Development Organization has appealed to the state government to make reservations for Bengali Muslim and Bengali Hindu inhabitants of Juribam district during the delimitation process. Speaking to media at Al Amin School in Sonapur of Juribam today, Acting General Secretary of the organization and the Abdul Rauf Laskar said development of a community requires efficient political backing. He appealed to the authorities concerned to carry out the delimitation process properly. Minority Bengali, Muslim, Amasung Bengali, Hindu, Singh. Educationally, Amasung financially, Yam Nasothana Lairiba, Asibu, Kokhanaba, Pambaydi, Political Shaktina, Kokhanba, Namgani Haina Thajai. Jirida Lairiba Minority Singhi, Kanbiduna, Neom Chumna Tobinaba, Jarvesan Thambinaba, Havjik Paliba, Sarkar, Governor, Amasung, Delimitation, Commission the Appeal Tajari. Five days training program for 23 field trainers who will be carrying out duties during 2021 census in Thauval and Kakching districts kicked off today. 
Directorate of Census Operation and District Administration Thawbal organized a training program at the election counting hall of Thawbal DC complex. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You are watching Afternoon News. India reported its third COVID-19 fatality with the date of a 64-year-old man from Mumbai with a travel history to Dubai on Thursday. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 in India has reached 129. Maharashtra alone with 39 positive coronavirus cases reported so far is the most infected state in the country. The virus has affected 127 countries including 1,32,870 people worldwide out of which 79,886 people have recovered and 7,174 people have died. COVID-19 has killed 3,226 people in China alone. 2,158 in Italy and 853 people in Iran. The first human trial to evaluate a candidate vaccine against coronavirus disease 2019 has begun in Seattle. The U.S. National Institute of Health NIH said in a statement that the open-label trial will enroll 45 healthy adult volunteers ages 18 to 55 years over approximately six weeks. The first participant received the investigational vaccine yesterday. President Ramna Kovin has nominated former Chief Justice of India Ranjan Gogoi to the Rajya Sabha. A notification to this effect was issued by the center yesterday. Ranjan Gogoi served as the 46th Chief Justice of India from 3rd October 2018 till 17 November last year. President of India nominates 12 persons to the Rajya Sabha. The notification said President is pleased to nominate Ranjan Gogoi to Council of States to fill the vacancy cause due to the retirement of one of the nominated members. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nongkoman Birain suspends his events of ILP to outsiders entering Manipur amid COVID-19 threats. And India reports third coronavirus casualty from highest infected state Maharashtra. Positive cases of COVID-19 in India climbed 129.